Say hi. Bye. Yeah. Let's go to Aspen. Hey guys, it's Hay. So today I am going on Derek's flight to Aspen, Colorado. Um, I'm going to be doing kind of the same thing as one of my other videos, following him around. Um, we'll be staying the night there and then he has another flight from Aspen back to Dallas tomorrow. And y'all can kind of see what it's like to buy a standby and what it's like for me as a pilot wife. I'm excited because Derek says the hotel that we'll get to stay at is at a ski resort and he says it's really cool. It has a heated outdoor pool and free rock climbing and ice skating. So we might get to do one of those, which is awesome. I haven't seen him like fly in a while. So I'm excited for that. He doesn't know I'm videoing it, so we'll see what he thinks. But he's already had one leg today from Dallas to Aspen, and then he is going to meet me back in Dallas in an hour or so, and then fly us both and other passengers to Aspen. Tomorrow, he has a flight from Aspen to Dallas, back to Aspen, back to Dallas. So I think I'm going to sleep in and try and go on the second leg if the hotel will let me. See y'all at the airport. So I'm on the way to the airport. I was just gonna tell y'all, sometimes I get anxiety about some parts of flying. And I mean, I love flying, but there's just a few things like when you land, like getting up from the flight, what, when sh is the person across from me gonna get up first or should I get up first? And like, what time should I get up first? I don't like standing up right away, but I also don't want people in my road to be like pushy about it. Another thing that I sometimes get anxiety about is Derek always likes to ask the gate agent if I can come down early, which I, I like because I can put up my bags without feeling rushed and meet all the crew, but I normally don't care. And sometimes gate agents are like, no, like she's not going down early. And some are like, oh, of course, like go ahead. Um, and I just, I don't want them to think that I feel like I'm privileged, like I should get to go down early because I'm the pilot's wife or whatever. So I get nervous about that. A lot of the times, there's other like rampers and stuff whenever I walk down there and they see me and they're like, oh, you're not allowed to be on here yet. And then I have to explain like, oh, I'm the pilot's wife and they let me go down early, which is awkward, um, which y'all kind of saw in my last video that was similar to this. Well, like I said, normally I don't care, but I would like to get to go down early today so I can film some. So we'll see how it goes. So, I don't even know if I'm gonna make it on the flight. There was 20 seats open last night and it's oversold now by one. And that's not including non-revs. And even if I do make it, Derek's nervous that I won't make it home. And hotels there are like freaking expensive. So, I don't even know if I'm gonna try. It's just really annoying because I drove an hour and got ready. I just don't understand how it went from 20 seats open the night before and now it's oversold. So that's kind of the life of like non-revving. Like it's great. This flight would be free. It's awesome. Um, but you could go through all this trouble and not even make it or get stuck there and have to pay for a hotel. It's just frustrating. So we'll see what we do. I don't know. So, Derek decided that we shouldn't risk it. Several days later. Hey guys, so it's been about a week since the last clips you've seen. I'm going to try and go on Derek's Aspen overnight again. Um, it looks a little bit better for today and coming home tomorrow. I know I'm in the same outfit. I just wanted to wear the same thing. I think it's cute, so maybe me and Derek can get a picture um, in the cockpit. We'll see. It's supposed to be super cold in Aspen. The high today is 20 and the low is like negative three. So I'm probably gonna die. I'm just waiting on Derek to meet me. It's Derek! Oh, hi. He's taking me up. You can take your car. Oh, okay. Well, see y'all at the airport. 
TSA. I just met the flight attendants. They were nice. We'll see what seat I get. Be nice if you're at first class. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the pre board. And I got the perfect seat. It's by myself and it's in the second row, first class. So I don't have to sit by anybody. And I have room under my seat because if you get the first row, first class, you will have to put a backpack above. And I like keeping my backpack close to me. So, yeah. Say hi. Bye. <laughs> Let's go to Aspen. So this is the uncomfortable seat you talk about. <laughs> Are those hand sanitizing wipes? Yeah, I kind of keep them shower nice sink and yeah, this is cute wow wow and there <laughs> he forgot jeans and now he has nothing to wear I work <laughs> he's trying to figure out if he should tuck his shirt in or I'm trying to figure out it. what's the combination that makes this the least hideous <laughs> You can't really tell on this. Okay, they're black slacks, not jeans. They're like dress pants. It's fine. You'll never see these no people more. again. <laughs> Ready? Hey, scared. This is hard. I don't. I can't do it. It's okay, freezing. You have to stay near the rail. What? I am a rail. How do you do this? I don't know. I'm just good at everything, you know. That pool looks so inviting, warm and inviting. Yeah, it does. You jump in. Careful. Yeah. It's scary. You just put yours like this, and you just skate around. But if you fall, you just keep steady. You just like stand still. Like if you go like that. Okay. Well, you seem like a pro. <laughs> well, I mean, I do have my own ice cream, so. That's cool. Is that on YouTube? Is that going to go on YouTube? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> do you watch YouTube? Yeah, because I watch it all the time. How do I like push and grab or like, push? Oh, God. Okay, you see my ear and start going like this. That's good. Nice. I don't know if I could get that used to it. them for adults. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Look how speedy you are. She's really going now, guys. I'm getting better. I had a little teacher. She told me that I need to move my feet back and I'm getting less scared. I think that's the main issue. The pool is steamy. Warm. Check out this cheesiness. Wow. Is it good? The pepperoni looks very good. This is um, Alfredo spinach chicken artichoke. How is it? it? Must be good with a bite that big. Very tasty. This is 
so cool, this view. So it's the next day. Derek already left for the airport to go on his first flight today to Dallas. And then he's supposed to fly back to Aspen. And I'm supposed to get on that flight around like 1 o'clock and fly back to Dallas with him. But his flight needed maintenance work, like something broke. And it was going to be at least six hours. And the flight that I'm supposed to be getting on around 1 has been moved back to 9 p.m., which means, like, Derek and his crew won't be allowed to work on it because they're only allowed to work, like, a certain length of time. So there will be a new crew for that one. Since it was pushed back so far, the gate agents have been trying to transfer people off that flight to other flights, which could mean that it might get canceled. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the airport a little bit earlier because Derek's just hanging out there and to go hang out with him. And hopefully I can get on his flight that's delayed six hours if they can get the maintenance fixed. If not, then either they will get them hotel rooms for tonight to stay here. And we'll say another night, maybe not in this hotel, could be another hotel or they will deadhead them back to Dallas. Deadhead is just the company gets you a seat on a flight back home. Like, it's not non-revving or standby. Like, you for sure have a seat. But that doesn't mean I will for sure have a seat. Hopefully, all this gets worked out and we all get back home. Hopefully, not too late tonight. But we'll see. That's just how things go. You have no idea. Sometimes maintenance issues like this will come up. Or flights went full or canceled or whatever, so I don't know. We'll see. So we're at another hotel with Derek's company. If they get del maintenance delayed six hours or more, they're supposed to give them a hotel room for that time, um, which happened this time. So we're just waiting. As of right now, it's showing that we're not supposed to be leaving for like another five hours or something. Yeah. It's 1.40 right now. The flight was originally scheduled for 7.12 a.m. If you need them, hey. Uh, yeah, why? Because it'll be embarrassing? Yeah. Is that why? You don't no. care if I hurt myself? I don't care if you hurt yourself. Guys, this hotel's really cool. Got a few drinks on the flight. 